me, 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 me. <sighs> Good morning, everybody. You caught me asleep. I'm sorry. Sometimes you just get tired and sometimes you feel like you just have to take a nap. But don't take a nap while you're trying to do your work, okay? I hope you're having a, a really good week, uh, even though it's just the start of the week, um, and that everything this week will go really, really well for you. Hang in there. Uh, I know things are still strange. May, not everyone is in school, and and um, you know having to do things differently. But but hang in there. It's going to get better. Now, we've been talking about this story. You remember what the na the man's name was? Starts with a, starts with a J. His name was Joseph. Remember something about Joseph? <clears throat> he had lots of brothers. How many? He had, in my nose, 10 add one is 11. 11 brothers. Can you imagine that? How big of a family? How many bedrooms maybe you must need in your house? But then Joseph's brothers, he didn't like what had happened because his father had made that very fancy coat with all the colors. Remember what happened last time is that when Joseph's brothers went out to take care of the sheep that uh, they went away a little bit of a, of a journey, a little bit of a trip and then Joseph's father uh, told Joseph to go and see how they're doing and they were getting real angry <sighs> and they said we don't like way he's doing that. Why he's got that very fancy coat and he thinks he's better than us. And all of a sudden they looked over and there he was and he came over to them. He said, I just, Father sent me to see how you're doing. And they grabbed him and they threw him in that hole. And then some people came who were like market people trading things. And they said, hey, if you'll give us some money, we'll give you this person right here. Don't, the Bible doesn't say whether they said it was their, his, their brother or not. But they gave them a bit of money and they took Joseph off. Well, that seems absolutely terrible. But today we're going to crack on with the story. So Joseph arrives to Egypt and he gets put into a, uh, as a servant for one of these sort of really important people there in Egypt. And the man could see that Joseph was really organized. He worked really hard. He was able to do things, and everything that he'd worked on, it seemed like it got better and better, and there were more and more. Maybe he was put in charge of selling things, and we don't know exactly what. But obviously this man knew, his name was Potiphar, Potiphar knew that God was with Joseph. Now Potiphar wouldn't have understood about God very much, but he knew that there was something special about Joseph. Well, things went on, and one day, uh, something happened so that Joseph got in trouble. It wasn't for anything he did, it's that someone there didn't like him because he wasn't doing, he, would, he didn't do something naughty that they wanted him to do. So Joseph ended up going to jail and it wouldn't have been nice at all. And I can imagine, oh no, here's another thing that happened with Joseph. Not only did he get, he get put into a hole, and he got sold, now he got thrown into jail, and that none of these things were his fault. That doesn't make sense, does it? You would think, how could God love him, and then all these things, all these bad things happen? You know what, sometimes, even though we know that God does love us, we know that sometimes hard things do happen. Sometimes our pets die, Sometimes maybe our mom and our dad, maybe they lose a job. Maybe we have to move somewhere that we don't want to move to. Different things like that. But Joseph never gave up on God. That's a really encouraging thing. So one day when he was in, this, in, this, in, this, in jail, there were two other people that were in jail with him. And there was a, a baker and a servant to the king. And then... <clears throat> They, uh, they uh, were, were, were put in jail, and one night as they were sleeping, they had a dream. Have you ever had dreams before when you sleep? I know I have. Sometimes I don't remember my dreams. 
And sometimes they're weird dreams. Like one time I remember when I was real little, and I don't know why I remember this dream, and I don't remember all my dreams. I remember dreaming when I was probably five or six years old, probably what, um, would that be reception or year one? I dreamed that I was a pig and I was going down a slide. That's all I remember. That's all I remember. So anyway, these two, these two people in the jail dreamed one night. And they were, they were really disturbed. They were really bothered because they didn't understand the dream. And Joseph said, God is the one who gives interpretations. He gives the meanings to dreams. And so what happened was that Joseph was able to tell them the meaning of their dreams. And, and, uh, and what was going to happen in the future, in the really near future, in three days. Joseph said one of them was going to go back in his position to be a servant to the king. And the other one wasn't. And both of those things came true. And Joseph said this. He said, when you start working for the king again, could you please remember me? And that's what happened. So all kind of things can happen. All kind of bad things can happen. And we may not understand it. Just like with this virus, just like with all this is happening, and maybe you still can't see your grandparents like you want to, or you don't get to see all your family, and there's no, you know, you, um, maybe there's no restaurants you can go to, and maybe you have some pizza or something. All these things can happen, but we just got to be patient. Joseph had to be patient. Bad things happened to Joseph, but he didn't give up. He didn't say, God can't be real, there can't be no God, otherwise these things wouldn't happen. Joseph didn't say that. He just was patient. So we need to be patient too. So please keep on working hard with all your schoolwork. Do what your teachers ask you to do. Listen to them, remember, with our eyes, our ears, our mouth and our body, all those things, and things will get better. So we're going to pray and ask God to help us have a really, really good week. God, thank you for today and thank you for this next little bit of the story with Joseph. God, we know that things don't always happen. Things don't always um, happen that are good. Uh, bad things happen and sad things happen sometimes like we talked about. But God, help us not to give up Help us not to say, er, then, then God's not real, or, oh, I'm just not going to do my schoolwork, or, er, I'm going to get mad with my mom and dad because, things, because sad things are happening. God, help us not to do that, but help us to be patient and just to do things like I remember my mom told me and other people told me, one step at a time, step by step by step. God help us. I want to pray for all, this, all the children. I want to pray for all the teachers. Help us to keep really healthy, to keep washing our hands, and to be careful about um, touching other people. And if we feel ill, to help us to be careful to, to be able to stay home. And God, thank you for all that you're going to do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey, thanks a lot, and we'll see you next week.